Silhouette Studio has an Effects feature for adjusting imported raster images, gradient fills, and pattern fills. Once you have an image created and selected, which contains a raster image, such as a JPEG or PNG, a gradient fill, or a pattern fill, you can go to the Effects panel to adjust the image with a variety of effects options. The Effects feature does not work with images filled with the Fill Color feature. I've got a print and cut design, a pattern filled square, and an imported photograph. I'll select them all at once so you can see how these effects alter each type of image. All options are controlled by scroll bars that can be dragged to achieve the desired effect. As the effects you want are achieved, you can click on the Apply button at the bottom of the Effects panel in order to set the effect into place. If you don't like the effect, you can click Cancel and try another. If the Apply button is not selected, it resets when moving on to another effect, so be sure to click Apply if you want to use a combination of effects. The following effects options are available. The Gray Shade option will convert the image to a gray tone image. The higher the amount applied, the more gray tone will be applied to any color appearing in the image. The Colorize option will cycle through the hue of colors appearing in the selected image. As you can see, depending on the image you're recoloring, this can look really great or really strange. Contrast, Brightness, and Saturation controls allow you to adjust the range of contrast, brightness, and color saturation of the selected image. The Gamma option controls the image's intensity, where lower scale levels will darken and intensify the image, and higher scale levels will lighten and soften the image's intensity. The Invert option inverts the image's color scheme, where the default 0.0, .0 setting is the original color, and the top 100.0 scale setting is a full inversion of coloring. The sepia option will convert the image to a sepia tone image. The higher the strength that's applied, the more sepia tone will be applied to any color appearing in the image. The tint option controls the specific levels of red, green, and blue tint of the selected image's coloring. The shadow effect that's available in Designer Edition and higher is covered in its own tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning about the fun color effects you can apply to images that already have their own coloring or fill patterns. Thanks for watching!